What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. Today I'm gonna to clear up a little bit of misunderstanding about the Elisa's Crimson, Command, and Forge drum modules. And by the way, yes, all of those are the exact same drum module, just with different names on them. If you look at the spec sheets of all of those drum modules, they all have the exact same specs, all the exact same number of sounds in them. And one really great feature about those is that you can import samples and assign those samples to different pads. So for those of you that don't know what a sample is, a sample is just simply a recording of a sound. So you could have a sample of uh, me playing a couple of chords on a synth, or you can have a sample of someone hitting a snare. 99% of drums, other than Roland, are powered by samples, where when you hit the snare, all you're doing is hearing a recording back of some guy in a studio a thousand miles away hitting a snare. That's what a sample is, a recording of a sound. And uh, the only problem though is that not all samples are created equal. Um, Yamaha drums are powered by samples, but they don't sound as good as something like Addictive Drums or Superior Drummer software that you run off of your laptop. So the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the fact that you can load samples onto the Elisa's drum modules is, wow, I can just go buy Easy Drummer for 100 bucks and then load up a couple of kits onto my, my Elisa's Forge or my Elisa's Command or my Elisa's Crimson Drum Set. And I can just load all those Easy Drummer uh, sounds onto my kit and now I won't have to use my laptop and trigger MIDI anymore. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, these samples, um, they're only one layer. Samples are kind of complicated because you're not just hitting a drum and hearing one sample tuned up and down and the volume messed around with. For example, if I take uh, a sample from Easy Drummer 2 and assign it to one of the toms. Yes, when I hit the tom, I can hear that Easy Drummer sample, and it sounds really, really good. Unfortunately, it's only one layer. So no matter how many times I hit it, no matter how quiet I hit it, no matter how loud I hit it, I'm just gonna hear that one sample being played over and over and over again. There's gonna be no dynamic range at all. Because we all know that when you hit an acoustic tom, and you hit it loud, and you hit it soft, um, there's going to be a lot more difference between those sounds than just a difference in volume. There's also a difference in how the drum reacts to your stick hitting it. Like the whole timber of the drum, like it, it sounds differently when you hit it softly and when you hit it loudly. And so you need different samples for different velocity ranges. And then you need to also have the volume changes. All of this isn't possible with the Elisis drum module. You can't do all that. Um, you're just gonna have one layer of sound. Now, this is still a really impressive feature to, to be on these drum modules. It's great because you don't have to spend 300 extra bucks to go buy an Elisa sample pad or 700 bucks to go buy a Roland sample pad to have that feature with your drums. It's built right into this little, little drum module on a $500 drum set or a seven or a thousand dollar drum set, depending on which you buy, the Elisa's Crimson, the Forge, or the Command. I just wanted to clear this up. I know some of you have been wondering whether or not you could load an entire drum library from Addictive Drums or Superior Drummer onto those Elisa's modules. And no, unfortunately, it's not possible. It's still a great feature of those drum modules, and I'm really excited because that feature is usually reserved for drum modules on sets like 1500 bucks, 2000, 3000, 4000 up there in that price range. So, still a great feature. If I were to use this feature on one of those Elisa's drum sets, I'd probably just record like uh, chord progressions on my piano and then assign that to a tom or something like that so I can play along to myself playing the piano. Really, really cool. Or you can use different like sound effects, I don't know, d explosions or whatever it is you wanna do. There's a whole lot of flexibility here. And you can even just uh, buy an extra pad to use as a sample pad. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm making new videos every single week about electronic drums. My schedule right now is uh, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you wanna keep on top of the new videos, click subscribe and the little bell icon. Also, I've got over 100 videos on eDrums on my channel if you wanna go check the backlog of older videos. See you guys next week.